I kind of changed up my setup a little bit. I wonder if anyone can even tell, but I changed the color scheme of the little potted plants behind me. And I also thought that if I were to get like fake vines and kind of like drape them, it would be kind of cute, like a, like a magical indoor garden or something. But it kind of just reminds me of like hair in horror movies when there's just all of that like long black hair that just kind of like grows out of nowhere. It kind of reminds me of that. So today I am going to be sharing with you guys my uh, March favorites. <laughs> it's the end of March. It's going to mainly consist of some new favorite pieces from Sweatshop Free Brands and a ton of makeup products and also some Netflix series that I've been really liking recently. So yeah, that's what this favorites video is going to consist of. I hope you guys enjoy. So first of all, there is a brand that I am just really 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 in love with right now and that is the brand Somewhere X Nowhere. So today the shirt that I'm wearing is from them. It is a cropped black mesh tee with an overlay of green velvet and it's got like straps on it so it looks like a two piece but it's actually one piece. I also have some other pieces from them. I featured their Idlewise top in my most recent Pink Girl lookbook that I shot with my friend Damien and I feel like this applies to pretty much every single one of their pieces. There is something that makes it so unique and so irreplaceable. I really love how they utilize a lot of different fabrics and textures and materials and they combine things that you generally don't think of combining and it makes a really unique product so I feel like that is one thing that makes their brand so different from other brands. I do have more pieces from them but I am saving them because I want to feature them in future lookbooks and things like that so you guys will see that in the future. Alright so that is all of the clothing pieces out of the way now we're going to start going into the makeup products but first of all I have one skincare product to recommend to you guys. This is the Ofra Cosmetics Kim Thai Collaboration Wander Lush Moisturizer. I've been using this moisturizer for a really really long time and I love this moisturizer. It is my go-to moisturizer now. It's really, really lightweight. It's not greasy or oily in any way. It definitely feels very luxurious. It's like a very smooth and lightweight consistency. I have like all sorts of different skin issues, but no matter how my skin is feeling that day, this moisturizer is very universal. It doesn't clog my pores. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't irritate my skin. And also it gives my dryness the right amount of hydration. So I feel like this is just like a universal one formula fits all skin types sort of thing and also I have extremely sensitive skin this doesn't irritate me whatsoever like not even the slightest bit and also even though I've been using this for so many months I've still got like the majority of the product left you really really need the smallest amount to cover your entire face all right so oh uh, shit uh, there's so many I'm dropping everything all right so next I have all of these goodies, I have every single color of the Milk Makeup Eye Pigment and so there are so many things that I like about these eyeshadows. All of these eyeshadows are either metallic or shimmer. This formula is super convenient because it's so pigmented and so long lasting that you can get a super high shine without any of the fuss. It's really convenient, you just like slap that shit on there and you have like intense shine for the rest of the day. They are super long wear. I think the longest time I wore this was for about 12 hours. It does set really really quickly which is good but also you have to sort of like race against the clock to like blend it out properly once it sets you really cannot move it like it's really impressive actually like you cannot move it at all it's like on there no matter how much you try to like budget and because they set so quickly I feel like you can do some really interesting eye looks um, you can use them as eyeliners you can use them to like draw shit and stuff like that you don't have to just use them as eyeshadows so I feel like it's a very universal product so next I have a palette and this is from the the brand 100% Pure. This is their Sex Kitten palette. Recently, it's become one of my daily palettes. I just reach for it really quickly. I can do my entire like face with just this palette, um, except bronzer. There's no bronzer in here, but I don't use bronzer. So for me, this is um, a perfect like every single day on the go palette because you've got a highlight, you've got a blush. Um, you can use this as an eyeshadow or also for a highlight if you're of a darker skin tone. And you've got two eyeshadows here. So for First of all, let me talk about this blush. I really like this blush. It is such a cute pinky color and I will insert some footage I have of me using this already in a tutorial so 
you guys can see what it looks like and it's just a very cute very light pink and it's very youthful and so with these two darker eyeshadows on the side I am really really obsessed with these right now it is so easy for me to just put this lighter shade all over my eyelid and then go in with this darker shade and just deepen up the crease a little bit and that's it. I'm completely done with my eye makeup look. It's so simple. It takes me like, what, like a minute. So I am really obsessed with this palette right now. My favorite thing about their eyeshadows is that everything is super soft. It's super silky. I think this is probably like the softest like pressed eyeshadows and blushes that I have right now. And also I have another product from 100% Pure. If you can't tell, I really love 100% Pure. I am like a huge fan because I feel like everything they do is just you guys are doing it right You guys care about the right things. Um, so I have their fruit pigmented blush and this is in the color healthy so it looks a little gnarly inside because I have been dipping into this like almost every single day since I got it So I've had this for like maybe like two months already. I am obsessed. This is my go-to blush This is just my perfect blush color. It's not too pinky It's not too brown and it's not too orangey It's just like the perfect combination of all of those if you guys have olive undertones like I do um, I think something like this would look really really nice on you and also it's very pigmented so you only need a little bit of product to give yourself like a really nice healthy glow and also on days where I don't necessarily want to look like I'm wearing makeup I will just pop a little bit on the cheeks and it will give myself like a natural flush so I am really obsessed with this color all right so I have a new go-to lippy and I'm actually wearing it today so you guys could get like a good idea of what it looks like this is the ColourPop lippy sticks in the color brink and it is a matte finish and also I don't find myself using this often myself but just in case you guys like lip liners they also have a a matching lip liner also in the color brink so this is a set if you guys like lip liners but I'm just going to be talking about the lippy sticks today because this is what I've been using it's not too eye-catching but it is very pretty so that's what I really like about this color as you guys can see it's a really cute color I really like it for the spring because it's like a warm toned nude I have a, another lip product for you guys this is also another everyday sort of lip product and this is the LA Splash Cosmetics tell me what you are um, it doesn't say like what the product is on the package, but this is a lip gloss from LA Splash Cosmetics and it is in the color Angelique and first of all look at this packaging it's so pretty oh my god I received a PR package of their entire new line for their lip gloss and also their new formula for their liquid lipsticks it was absolutely amazing I felt like I received a package from fucking Hogwarts I am just really obsessed with this color. Rather than it being just a lip gloss, it has a very concentrated pigment and it's also glossy at the same time. So instead of having to reach for a lip color and then put gloss on top, you've got your lip color and gloss in one product, which I really, really like. It's very convenient and that's why I really like it for like everyday wear. I can just pop this on and out the door. It's very like low maintenance. All right, so finally, after an eternity of talking, I am getting really, really hungry. We are finally down to the last product and that is the illuminating setting spray from cover FX I've never tried an illuminating setting spray before so I wasn't exactly sure what to expect but basically what it looks like is like a diffused liquid highlight in a bottle and you just like spray it all over your face for the slightest sheer glow and it just makes your skin look so amazing because it's a very fine mist you can't exactly tell that you're wearing like a product on your face it's ridiculous I feel like I'm shining like a goddess when I'm wearing this I do have some tips with this product though shake it really well and spray like from like a good distance go in with a gentle hand is what I've learned so lastly I just want to finish off this video with some of my most recent Netflix favorites so the first one is a crime documentary series it's called true crime and every episode is an hour and 30 minutes long so it's actually like watching a mini movie every single episode and every single episode is a completely different story I didn't really like the first episode but if you can get past the first episode the rest of the series is absolutely amazing it's one of the best uh, crime docudramas that I've ever seen before. So I really recommend it to you guys, especially if you guys like um, crime related documentaries and things like that. And lastly, one of my newest favorite shows is 
the Great British Baking Show and I found out through you guys that it's actually called something different in the UK but for some reason it has a different name here in America. Yeah, I'm really really into this show. It's just a very very cute like baking competition um, in Britain. The intentions of the show is not to pit them against each other to create drama for the audience. It's so that um, they can each try to achieve the best result possible. All of the competitors are just really really sweet. They're just out to you know help each other and do their best. It's just a really really cute show. You know like you have like very cute happy helpful people and you have really good looking sweets and stuff like that and so all together like it's just like a very fun and a very cute show. Alright so that's it for this favorites video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys again in the month of April. I'm really excited because there are some things that I've been looking forward to a lot in April and I hope to share the news with you guys soon because I'm really excited. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching.